Hello. So in this lab, I'll show you how to put in a pre-approval step or a post-approval step on your your DevOps pipeline. So why do I require this pre-approval or post-approval step? Basically, whenever there is a release or right before the application is being deployed or it's being released, someone should approve. So very useful whenever you're doing a release and some manual checks are required uh, before that uh, application deployment happens inside the production. Okay. So one of the previous labs we have created an ASP.NET application, we have uploaded it to Azure repo and we have created a build pipeline which builds these uh, uh, ASP.NET application and we have created a release pipeline which deploys this uh, ASP.NET application to an environment and that environment is nothing but our web app service or app service in Azure. Okay. So now before the release can happen, before the deployment can happen on this app service what i want to do is i want to put a approval step i can click on this release pipeline i'll click on this edit button and over here i'll click on this and it gives me an option which says that uh, pre-deployment approvals right so i'll enable this and there has to be a user maybe some lead developer or a, a lead devops engineer Right. In my in this scenario, I'll keep myself as the person who will approve this deployment or approve this stage, which is our deployment stage app service. And once I approve it, then and then only the deployment will happen. Okay. So I'll save this release pipeline. Now let me do a quick change inside my application code. Okay. It could be any change. So let's do a, a small change inside the HTML file. And here I'll just add an additional exclamation mark. So this will basically trigger the application build. If I go to pipelines, the application build is triggered. This will build my application, it will test my application, upload the artifact to Azure pipeline pitch. And once this is done, the release pipeline will start. and release pipeline will wait for me to approve the deployment step or deployments. So let this build get completed. Right, so the build is completed. Now let me go to the release pipeline. And here it says approval pending on you. I should approve this. If I click on this, right here, I have an option to approve. Once I click on this approve button, I can put the comment why I'm approving this. I approve the request, then only the deployment will happen. So now the deployment is queued. If I click on logs, I can see that the agent is getting started. The agent artifact would be downloaded and this agent will then upload those artifacts or deploy those artifacts app service. Let's wait for the deployment to complete and then we'll see the changes inside the app service. 